Right, hello. Um, the video we've been wanting to do for a while now. Um, obviously, I've told you guys, all the you know subscribers I have with the channel know that a, uh, a hobby of mine is to play magazine fed paintball. Um, so I would like to start doing that style of content. Um, so apologies about the surroundings. I'm in my garage because there is is where I store my kit. But this weekend I plan on filming some footage for the weekend. Um, but it, I'd like to do a little bit more in terms of editing those videos, so you won't be seeing any of that footage, um, at least in long form or I, you know a short long video um, for a while. But um, just a little something to hold you over, um, something to bridge the interest, hopefully. Um, and this will be obviously Saturday's video while I'm out playing on the field. You'll uh, watch what I'm playing with. So um, I would like to show you um, what kit I use to play with. Um, it's very Milsim-esque. So we shoot with um, 68 caliber 0.68 paintballs. And that's the, the sizing. 0.68 is the sizing and the uh, of the caliber. Um, and the markers are very realistic. Um, mine before modifications wasn't but now looks pretty cool in my opinion and uh yeah without further ado um one thing i will not be sure well i'll probably i've got some kit here but what i wear on the day often is uh a pair of trousers a t-shirt some sort of ankle support boots which are usually older boots so i'll see if i have any of that with me in the boxes but um yeah oh actually most of it i can see now but yeah anyway forgive my unprofessionalism to start with in this box, we have gloves. Now, um, a friend of mine uses these actually for working. So they are mechanics, um, that's with an X, um, sort of um, Milsim paintball gloves. Um, these, as you can see, are fabric, but the front side, not sure if the camera will see it, but um, it's like a, a grippy texture, which helps with absorption and uh, keeping you very dexterous. So these are cuffed on the sides and uh, I'm a medium sized hand. So those are pretty spot on and uh, you know, scuff your hands. I mean, my hands aren't in the best of conditions, but a good pair of gloves helps. Um, these are just some cheap um, needing of upgrade MTP trousers. That's what I've been playing in for about five years now and uh, am due to upgrade. So yeah, just some teak trousers. They take the knee inserts. I don't use them, but they do take them. Um, can't go wrong with something cheap and uh, clearly it's lasted. But um, And then on my head to, well, we'll start with t-shirt. T-shirt, I wear a t-shirt. So this is like a, a nice breathable sort of stretchy fabric, kind of grippy, so it's not, great for when you're working your way through bracken and brambles but for the milsim-esque event that's coming on this weekend in the tunnels of Fort Scrazen or Scrazen Fort however you pronounce it um any old t-shirt will do me justice so often that's usually all I wear and then on my head I wear a, a schmug so that helps with um I, I get quite hot um so often I'm in the bare minimal of layers as it goes anyway but this I wrap around my head in sort of a bandana style and then that adds a bit of cushioning from my paintball mask and um, some sweat absorbent. And I've tried many, many of things. Um, anyone looking at this video from a paintball perspective, anyone who's played or is looking for any advice, I really recommend XFOG. Um, there won't be anything in the description because I'm not that good of a YouTuber, but if you just go on Google and type in XFOG paintball mask, the mister, you should be pretty obvious what you're looking at, but um, those are amazing. Um, luckily, I wear a uh, JT Proflex. Um, my team that I place people with are sponsored by um, Just Paintball, so we got a good discount deal on them. Um, so look, if you're looking for a mark uh, recommendation, marks, sorry, recommendation, that will be coming up. JT Proflex cannot recommend enough. I do not fog up at all, um, but this just helps keep me dry. So that's done with that. Shut that back. We'll uh, go to the box of goodies first. So, new addition to, uh, as you can see, is a dump pouch. So this is gonna be going on my belt. I'm up here doing some admin. Um, so this is a nice, you could probably see, translucent, netted style dump pouch. And that is 
super deep and will probably take four to six magazines. So that's going to be going on my belt this year. So that's an upgrade. Um, I'm going to chuck on my use kit over there. As you can see, t-shirts, t-shirt, a t-shirt and uh, a spare shmuel. So that will go in my clothing box. Prepped and ready. Was it me? Probably not. Probably my wife. So, uh, <laughs> so this is the inner belt. Basically, what this is, is a Velcro belt that goes round a pair of trousers. I'm not sure if you can see it, so uh, I'm going to do it waist height. Um, so that'll go nice and snug, so your trousers aren't going to fall down. And then brings you to the next piece of kit, which is my, uh, my battle belt. So, quickly, before I show you when the ins and outs, that'll go then on the outside of the Velcro and clip in. But... The inner belt will be through some loops and it doesn't go anywhere. So you can load it up with mags and be happy that you know you're not going to drop anything or anything's going to ride out. Nothing worse than a t-shirt riding out when it's tucked in. It's horrible. Um, I have a dump pouch on my front left um, hip. That's for sometimes these games have uh, tags and tokens and things you have to collect that will go in there or while I'm doing stuff, I don't have time to reach back a, an admin pouch. Um, if I want to pop a, a, a grenade in there or a quick, before I got that one, a used mag, um, whatever. If I want it for storage, admin, I use that. And it's got a um, Velcro, a, uh, sort of a, a bungee elastic, which keeps it tight. It has additional storage at the front. I usually use that for my, um, uh, we have to use uh, barrel covers. So that will get laced up there. I know it's always there and I always carry a spare not currently in the kit. I carry two 556 um, mag pouches, just cheap Amazon, whatever, but those fit my um, my mags perfectly. On the back, I run an admin pouch. Um, zipper's not great, so that's something I'm looking to upgrade this year as well, but I don't use it for any more than just storing grenades in. So, um, or smoke, well not, uh, smoke grenades, so it usually just stays nice and tight to me. Then I run a grenade pouch. A friend of mine um, had loads of X military surplus parts and he gave me this. As you can see, there's no color scheme to this. Again, I'd like to tune everything in to make it look more meal sim and cool, but this is what's worked for me for the years. That fits two Enola Gay uh, EG40s in there, no problem. And as you can see, it's fully extended, so it does latch on top of them. Um, it's a tight fit, but they do fit. And then at the front, just about make out that clip, that's where I store my uh, gloves. So that's it. Then uh, some boring stuff, knee pads. Um, best bit of advice I was given when I first ever started looking into playing Magfed, I'm, I was doing this research into what kit should you buy? And you know, what's the first thing you should buy? Your knees are something I've experienced problems with over the years and um, internal issues, but external issues like grazes and bumps and bruises and chances are there's always going to be that one stone that just happens to find its way into your cover at your perfect position and bang, ah, oh, you can't play, you shat your kneecap. So whether it's some fancy trousers with inserts that protect your knees, or I think these cost me 20 quid off Amazon and um, that's 20 pounds, uh, probably, I don't know, 25 to 30 dollars, but there's cheap ones, there's expensive ones. As long as you're protecting them, you can't go wrong. So please, please, if you want any advice, it's ankle support boots and knee protection. And pretty much other than that, you can just build up on what you want to play with, how you want to play, work out what you want to do with your kit. And yeah, so be it. But um, knee protection, keep them protected. Put that down there. This is my air tank. So I do not know the exact specs of it. I believe it's a 40, oh, I can't remember. I think it's a 45, 48, C oh no, 68 CI, um, 4,500 PSI. So that means it takes a lot more air than the typical 13 CI tanks. So I'm not too good on the uh, numeric values of how much air this can take, but what I know that it it's carbon as well. So it's a hell of a lot lighter and the testing is a lot better and easier. Or I don't actually think this one needs testing. No, it does, but it is in date, but <laughs> keep your bottles tested. Um, so I got this for my speedball marker. As you can see, there's a, um, a rubber protector for when you play speedball. Um, but uh, I just hated, 
as you're playing with those little 13 CI tanks, you're shooting, you're shooting, you're shooting, and then all of a sudden your shots get lower and lower, then you hear the hiss of air, and it's all of your air is just leaked out of the tank, and that's it. Carry a spare, um, very milsome esque, but I run a remote line, as you can see, a stretchy remote line. This weekend, this will be going in a rucksack, and this just plugs into the base of my marker, and as you can see, it's got a nice little link there, and a on-off ASA, so that's um, the part that goes into your gun, sorry, paintball marker, um, and this can turn off and on, so you don't waste air, or if you need to close it for any reason, it's a bit of a safety feature, and also my paintball marker has that feature on it as well, so double protected. So this would typically go in a rucksack for these bigger games, because I can carry some water, some spare ammunition, some spare smokes, um, and any of the guys need anything to put in my pack, I'm usually the guy they let, uh, I'll, I'll let them carry it on my pack or whatever, and between us there's a bit of a, a trio that we've got going on, we've got some good communication, you know, I might carry some spare grenades, he might carry this, and so and so might carry that, and you just basically help yourself to what you can or what you need, so that would normally go in a bag on a bigger game. For all the games, I have a, uh, a bit of a shoulder pouch, that slots right in there, goes over my shoulder, and as you can see there's a little carabiner, to uh, latch it to my waist to stop it from swiveling around, but that's not the setup I'll be using, but that is the typical setup I would be using. Um, otherwise, picture a rucksack, that's what's gonna be on my back, and this is what's gonna be in it. Pop that down there. Also having a uh, remote line, almost semi-permanently on my bottle, um, protect threads. If not, if, if you don't do that, um, thread protectors, they're super cheap. It, I, a few dollars, a few pounds, whatever you you know you use as your uh, your fun, uh, currency. The last thing you want to do is get to site, drop your bottle on the concrete, dink all the threads, and then you've got to pray they've got a bottle in stock. And then the weekend that's already relatively quite expensive for the most part for most people becomes uh, just that little bit more expensive. So, right, this is how I carry all of my paintball stuff. So I'm going to pop it on. Um, it is a T-Rex Arms Ready Rig. Um, so as you can see, I have a, um, what do you call it, barrel squeegee. Keep your barrel clean. Um, I don't often have to do it. My marker's pretty good, but you can see bone dry and clean, but is always handy. If a friend needs one and uh, they're having a bad day or, or a teammate on there, or, or even an enemy, you know, if anyone needs some help, bang, here you go, try it out. Get them back and play in, because everyone's having fun. If you're having fun, your friend's having fun, the enemy's having fun, everyone's having fun, and nobody wants barrel breaks, and they often happen. Um, I carry a, another carabiner there, so that's what I usually have the pool tab grenades on, EG40s I think they are, I'm not too sure. Um, and that's again where my dump out is situated. So I'll clip carabiners, uh, the clip carabiners to the rings, and those will dangle above the dump pouch just in case I drop one, and um, the rings can be splayed and, and they could pop off. Um, I've never had one ignite on me from running, but I can often come into a doorway, pop one off, chuck it in, and I don't have to worry about fumbling around trying to find them. In the front, it takes three, five, five, six. Um, these mags resemble more, here we go, 762 size, but they fit. It is a snug fit, um, which I like because I do a lot of running around and these do not move anywhere. I mean, if often, without the the loadout being fully loaded and ready to go they're often quite tough to get out so you really have to give it some so um yeah so that's what a uh what the magazines look like for my paintball marker i can fit another small piece of admin which usually another grenade um and then on this left side there is another mag and then there's another one just pops around the back can't quite see it that's the one where my radio goes up to my earpiece and uh then I've got another space on this side. Don't often carry anything on that one, just cause that's where I like to keep tucked. And uh, yeah, shout out to my team. As you can see, it's been on there since the day this thing was bought. If you don't know, get to know. Cool. And uh, yeah, this is um, on the more expensive side of ready rigs, um, cause it's a more or less full cummerbund system. But for anybody who doesn't like running a plate carrier and usually runs a recce rig, um, once your budget warrants it, get something expensive. Because um, I've had this for 
two or so years and other than minor wear and tear there is no signs of this things ever failing on me and that people have put some serious t tests on these um and i get again like i said hot and sweaty i don't usually run a uh well i've never run a um plate carrier when i did didn't enjoy it because i got all hot and sweaty and felt like it was too tight and i couldn't work out the balancing so carry this with the mags and not much else can't recommend it enough um but you can find them viper tactical usually sell some um, cheaper versions and variations and you know work out you'll find what works for you and chip into it as you when you can a uh, baseball cap for when i'm mincing about i don't normally wear hats but i won this one in a raffle and as you can see it's a uh, first strike with um the fabric so you can put your patches on uh so yeah won this in a raffle and uh yeah so for my mask probably pretty dirty I didn't do a bad job of cleaning it at the field. Comes with a bag, but I run a JT Proflex, and um, it has the kind of looks like uh, the Master Chief helmet with that visor on. I always thought that was pretty cool. Um, so that's just a rain or sun visor. You can adjust it back and forth. They pop in and out. You can change the lenses, um, so you can change the color. I use clear because um, that works best for me and always has. Um, you can change the lenses, so you can change those black lenses. You can change the nose ridge, you can change the bottom soft piece, um, the back strap, and all you do is you just pop it on. This one will be a bit big because I usually run a Schmarg. And we're good to play. But these things are not going anywhere. And uh, like I say, of all the years I played paintball, I used to run a um, Push Unite mask, and that was really, I thought that was the, the prettiest looking mask of all the masks. But um, this one for me, uh, not only being a massive Halo fan and feeling like it resembles that somewhat, it's it cost me, I think, £50. I think they're normally £100. Um, I'd pay £200 for them. They're amazing. Really can't recommend them enough. If you ever, you know, you're happy with all your kit and you think, you know what, what should I try? Try a JT Pro Flex. They are so, so, so good. Um, next item goes hand in hand with that. Tissue and uh, lens cleaner. Um, not sure what this is, but I bought it at the field. Um, just any form of lens cleaner, clear lens cleaner. I think window cleaner works. I think a lot of guys use that, but um, keep it polished up, clean, spotless and dry, and you'll have no problem. So with a bit of tissue, kitchen roll, do not use anything else. Blue roll works. Um, toilet roll does not, because it kind of fluffy. Kitchen roll and uh, some lens cleaner. You're gonna have a good time. So I will always carry that, and usually, again, the guys forget to bring their own. I'm the man to help them. Um, armbands, these are EG ones I bought at the field. Um, I have red, and that's it, because that's the colour I play for. But it's a Velcro, pops on. You don't have to worry about tape or whatever the site's using. So I always, uh, once I bought that, I couldn't, you know, I bought two and give one to my friend. I thought, this is the best thing I bought in my life. I hated having tape. Um, these are what I normally shoot, and that is First Strike, 68 caliber paintballs. So um, these are like a bit more of like a sniper round, I think they are advertised as. Um, but they add to the Milsim aspect. So that's what it looks like. As you can see, it's got this fin-like shape on the back, and uh, the sizing will be around 0.68 um, from the uh, this subvection spherical shape to it uh, and these fins with combined with my barrel the rifling gets them to spin and uh, hey presto someone's uh, walking out with a hand up and uh, other than that in the box I have a couple of bags of spares and repairs and allen keys and other numerous bits that often catch you out and uh, you know you, you all of a sudden you happen to be a uh, a guy you know repairing markers and yeah so um yeah this bag's just allen keys carry a lighter because you never know this one looks like again o-rings allen keys some batteries but yeah nothing else nothing to uh nothing to write home about and that's uh, again another box in here i think again there is some uh we'll open it up microfibers and uh, a um, 
you know, microfibers and bits of radio stuff. I carry a knife in this one for some reason, but you never know when you need to cut some fabric. And uh, this is a pretty smart invention by Inception Designs. Um, it's just a 3D printed version of what other people do. Um, but this will go onto your, your magazine, as you can see, where you wind it up and your fingers start to hurt. This just pops on and makes life a hell of a lot quicker when you're uh, in between games and you want to get back out and play straight away. So, or uh, you can pop an Allen key in, in the same hole and, and spin it up, but this is pretty cool. And that's it for that box. And now for the final item, um, the thing you've all been waiting for. Well, actually, I'll show you one more thing. This box is for some reason a first strike. And uh, it's my radio. So I run a, a Baofeng UV5R. Uh, for anyone who cares and uh, it's always good to have good communication on the field not 100% necessary um, especially well this weekend probably won't work because we're underground 280 feet I think or up to 270 feet or something like that underground so radios probably won't work and it's dark and sound travels for a while out there so uh, see what the battery's like on this fully charged fire thing <laughs> I haven't charged this since uh, last year. And then uh, box batteries. For the final item is my paintball marker. So this, take the, uh, as you can see, the barrel plug. And then uh, that just, if you accidentally fire for some reason, you've got a paintball in the chamber. Um, you don't want that hitting someone. So. Uh, this is uh, almost a legal requirement for the fields of the UK. Um, you have to have one of these. I always carry spares in my boxes from when I bought paintball guns over the years. Um, so I'm always happy to chuck them around. Um, this one has a position at the tip for some Allen keys. It's pretty cool if you ever need to tune your gun on the fly. Um, so this is my EMF 100 or um, MG 100 as it used to previously be called. And uh, as you can see, it's slightly modded. So we'll start, I think at the back. So this is just a, a standard sort of Magpul style stock. And uh, yeah, pretty good, pretty standard. Keeps it nice and tight and shouldered. Um, as you can see, again, I run a remote line nipple and then there is an on off ASA here. I also have one on the tank, so I usually leave that one off. Um, safety, nothing too special about that. Um, up top, I run a, uh, a Vortex. This is a real steel Vortex. This is an actual um, red dot, a real one. I can't remember. Oh, I have the box. It's called the uh, Crossfire. Um, I've run numerous cheap red dots over the years and um, they always break or the battery's crappy or the sight line's not perfect or um, they don't really hold zero. I've taken this off numerous times after tuning it vaguely once. I think I got a bit lucky and tuned it perfect first time just by a few Allen key touch-ups and numerous little adjustments over the course of one day. After that, it's been pinpoint ever since. The, um, the clarity is amazing and uh, yeah, I think the battery life on their current batteries that's in it is about 50,000 hours, I think, like that. I usually play for a few hours, but if you forget it's on there, it's pretty cool. Um, I have a loop for my sling. Um, it's not in the box. I needed to clean it, so it's down in the flat. Um, it's sort of a uh, MOE-style stubby grip, so I run a C-clamp. And that allows me to access the uh, fun part up top, which is a uh, pressure plated um, to uh, to my torch, which is a requirement for this weekend. So we have white light and then strobe, as you can see, on off, or you have a click button. And this is a, another cheap Amazon purchase, but I'm pretty happy with it. Um, it's 
a Wadsum torch, good for paintball. The only thing I'm not too happy is it protrudes quite a bit further than my paintball marker, which is fine, but when you're, you know where the tip of your barrel is, butting up to a door and going round or, you know, swapping shoulders, smash, 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 not ideal. Um, the tip is slightly different. So this is an MWR, I think it's like the Alpha tip or something like that. Go on their website, it's a Canadian company. Shipping to the UK was really good and very reasonable on pricing. They do so many other things on there for uh, numerous amounts of markers. MWR Paintball, Google it, you'll find your way. It's like a green logo, it's like MW, um, can't go wrong. Um, barrel, I cannot take out without taking my gun apart, Paintball marker apart. Um, it's the new S63 Tactical by Planet Eclipse and uh, I've been really impressed with it so far. It's pretty pinpoint for me on the field so it's the only barrel I've used that's rifled as opposed to any of the first strike ones. Um, so this one by Planet Eclipse is amazing and it's the best of both worlds because I have a paintball marker, a speedball marker, which has the S63 barrel inserts and you just slide them in. So I, I, I've really been impressed with it. Um, I have the rifle insert currently and I'll swap out this weekend for a a, um, a tighter bore on my paint. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. It's taken me a while to tune it up, but yeah, I'm really, really impressed with how it's finally, uh, I think this is its final form for now. Um, I might make a, uh, I made a rain cover for it before, if you can get what I, uh, what I mean by a rain cover. And um, that really helped with protecting uh, the noise of the rain from um, exiting my um, paintball marker. So um, I think I'm gonna have a whirl at trying to make one of them again, because it, it fell off in the uh, in the woods. I was never finding it again, so I'm gonna try and make a bit more of a permanent thing today. But uh, yeah, check around for the video. Hopefully you can uh, see that in action. Yeah, so that's it. That's what I wear. Uh, again, like I say, they're not up here. I wear ankle support boots. Can't recommend it enough. So hopefully you've enjoyed that and um, Hopefully you'll uh, get a bit more of a look into the world of magazine fed paintball through my eyes and uh, yeah, I, uh, it's a pleasure to bring you along the journey. Thanks for all the uh, comments and all the support as per usual and uh, yeah, that's it. Hopefully everyone's enjoying their weekend and I uh, look forward to seeing you again soon. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and I shall see you in the morning.